Alexandra has quite a claim to fame. Nelson Mandela rented a room here when he first came to Johannesburg in 1941. In his autobiography, Mandela said the township occupies a treasured place in his heart. But Alex is now making headlines for all the wrong reasons. It is here where Mozambican Emmanuel Sitoli was stabbed to death during the recent wave of xenophobic attacks. Rubbish marks the spot and hides the blood. His brother, Matteo Tavano, continues to sell fruit nearby, but he lives in fear. I am not safe. People are beating me and they are chasing me away. I am not safe where I stand. Even if I knock off at five, people want to beat me. They are killing others. I think they also want to kill me. Well, these streets illustrate Alexandra's social issues and the lack of progress. More than 20 years after Nelson Mandela came to power, the area remains mired in poverty. The lack of development is clear. The gulf between the have and the have-nots is underlined by the close proximity of Santon, Africa's richest square mile. According to lifelong resident Larry Mulalecki, Alexandra's problems stem from a lack of leadership. These actions is because of the frustration that they are not being heard, they are not being listened at, you see. Now they, 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 they put whatever frustration into action. Hence you see such a violent uh, behaviour of people. There have been some improvements in the township in recent years. And this community leader argues the recent attacks are not representative of the area. We are all disgusted because we feel this is a criminal element. And Alexander will still move on from this, will overcome this. We did in, 19, in 2008. It wanted to raise its ugly head and we, we suppressed it and we are on top of everything now. The decision to deploy the army onto the streets is at odds with that sentiment. Alexandra played a key role during the struggle against apartheid. But the township now has its own horrifying crisis to deal with. Dan Williams, CCTV, Alexandra, South Africa.